What's up, people? I, I don't think I read enough books. So I'm gonna read a book per day for a month. And also, I would like to... Oh. My cat, oh. God damn it. <laughs> day number one. I am excited. But first thing first, I'm gonna need some coffee. I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do this. <gasps> All right. Now, what is the fastest way to read a book? You are correct. You need to use a time machine. And that's what we'll do. So speed it up. It took me six hours to read that first book. Even though Amazon Kindle told me that it would only take three hours. Now that must be some sort of a record. And I really don't know how I'm gonna survive through this month. Please send help. So that's day one. Good night. And here we go again. Wow, that took so long to focus. And speaking of focus, yesterday I had some trouble focusing, so today's main aim is to focus. Let's do it. Focus, focus. Ah. Right, I'm ready. Okay, uh, maybe I got a bit distracted. Just a smidge. But in general, this has been a lot better than the first day. I actually enjoyed reading and I can already feel how knowledge is pumping into my brain. Literally. All right, I feel a bit ill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What the hell? We're trying to read here. Sorry. Kids nowadays. <laughs> Going small means ignoring all the things you could do and doing what you should do. It's recognizing that not all the things matter equally and finding the things that matter most. It's realizing that extraordinary results are directly determined by how narrow you can make your focus. <sighs> Please take a moment and play that again. I could, I could, I could just skip reading all the other books. Because that, that right there, that I believe is the key to productivity and success. But who am I to say? I mean, I'm just a guy reading lots of books, not doing much. So that's all. Peace. <sighs> life without coffee is not a life worth living. Finish. Eat apples. Apples are healthy. Right. Week one behind, here are some thoughts. I can find the main ideas from the book a lot faster. I now recognize the parts 
and patterns that are not useful for me and I have the courage to skip them. My concentration is improving, even though it might not seem like that. But spending hours on end just reading books every day forces you to stop and train those concentration muscles. And most importantly, I'm becoming an Einstein. Okay, no, not really. But I can almost feel how my brain is creating new connections and ideas. And for instance, I had one conversation this week. Yes, one. And my gosh, I just had so much to say about productivity. I felt knowledgeable, knowledgeable, knowledgeable. It was dope. It was dope! But I still think I need to speed up my reading somehow. So for the next week or so, I'm gonna use Kindle's word runner feature, which is like a, a speed reading thingy feature addition add-on. Word runner. Uh, we'll start with 200 words per minute. I think I can take that. Uh, that's uh, it's quite easy. Let's uh, let's let's speed it up a bit. Say uh, 300 words per minute. Okay. Well, I can still take it quite easily. Let's uh, let's try 400. How about 500? 600? Bump it up. 900. Right key point I've learned in these two weeks is that reading should always be flexible. What that means is, first of all, you should always read books that you enjoy. Because when you enjoy a book, you learn a lot faster. You're interested in that topic, which means that your brain thing, these things here, absorb the knowledge a lot faster. And a continuum from that is that always allow yourself to quit reading a book. Many of us think like I did, that if I start reading a book, I need to finish it. Because if I'm halfway through and then I quit reading, that's just wasted time. But what I'm telling you is that let's think about it the other way around. If you now stop reading that book you're not interested in, or that you have found out to be rather boring, like really boring, if you quit reading that book, you have more time to read books that you enjoy. A simple twist, you see. So, uh... Right. It takes so much more time to read an actual book compared to ebooks. Like, I, I've spent countless hours on this book. I think, like, I, I, I think I've spent like eight hours reading this book and I'm still not finished. With ebooks, it usually took me six hours to read a book. With actual books, it's taking a lot longer. Of course, these things, these real books, have their benefits. It's easier to go back and forth between pages. You can make notes in the margins. And some of us might like the feel of the paper. But it doesn't have an x-ray function like Kindle does. You can't quickly search explanations from Wikipedia. You can't translate words. You can't see what other people have highlighted. You can't use audio narration. You can't conveniently list all your notes highlights and bookmarks. So call me a tech junkie, but I can consume ebooks a lot faster than real books. Enough said. So yesterday I had to make uh, perhaps the toughest decision in my life thus far. I had to decide between reading a book or going out with my friends, consuming bucket loads of alcohol, and having absurdly amazing time. Well, I chose the latter. And now I've come to realize that hangover makes reading rather difficult. I mean, who would have guessed? Moreover, the stress is accumulating because I, I looked at my reading list and I've skipped quite many days, which means that I need to read 10 books in the next five days. I, I, I need more coffee. Let's do this. Send help, please. 
I've found my limit. On Monday, I read three books. On Tuesday, I read two books. On Wednesday, I read two books. Today, I'm on my third book, and I'm pretty tired. I read when I wake up. I read throughout the day. I listen to audiobooks when I work out. Actually, I listen to audiobooks every damn time I move an inch. I read so much that I forget to eat. I read so much that sometimes I can't even recall the name of the book I'm reading. I read until I pass out at midnight. And then I dream about the books I read because my tiny, pathetic brain doesn't have anything else to process. It's not enjoyable. But somehow, it's uh, quite therapeutic. Therapeutic. Wait, I just need to, I just need to see how you pronounce that thing. You, uh... So what I was supposed to say is that it's kind of... Therapeutic. Shut up. I mean, it's just me and my books and my coffee for uh, 15 hours a day. <sighs> It's done! It's done! I need to... I need to... Sit down. Much better. Much better. I just need to calm down and give you three key takeaways from this cha channel. Challenge. I look so goddamn tired. Look at me. I can't even open my eyes. Yeah, so key takeaway number one the fastest way to consume a book is to use ebooks and audio narrations. You also need to learn different reading strategies like predicting, skimming, scanning, and then active reading. You should use highlights and notes. You need to block out all distractions. And then afterwards, you need to summarize what you've learned from that book. Key takeaway number two a book a day is a bit is a bit is way too much it creates unnecessary stress and it just makes it harder to enjoy reading duh johnny did it take you a month to realize that and even if you are able to read a book a day or consume a book a day the problem then is that you have no time to apply that knowledge to real world situations you're just reading 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 and never implementing or applying it Look at that. Book, a book, a book, a book. What do I do with it? Nothing, 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 nothing. Key takeaway number three, I became an Einstein. It's hard to fathom how much knowledge I gathered in just 30 days. I mean, the impression I got from these 30 days is that whatever you want to achieve in life, reading a lot of books gives you a huge advantage over those who don't read a lot of books. You'll start seeing things from gazillion different perspectives. You'll become... You'll become an unstoppable idea generator. You'll find opportunities where they didn't exist before. You become more articulate and well-spoken, like me. Last but not least, it allows you to escape this 24-7 connected society that we're living in. It gives you a goddamn break. And now, just to wrap it up, I'm not saying you should read a book a day. Actually, I'm saying do not read a book a day. It's, it's quite, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not good. It's not good. But what I am saying is... Read for five minutes every day. Because let's say that you read one page per minute and the average book is about 300 pages. That means if you read five minutes per day, you will read five books a year. And with that knowledge, you can go out to the big, great world and conquer, conquer it. Conquer the world. I'm telling you that. I believe in you. So, what are you waiting for? The book is not reading itself, you know? And that subscribe button is not clicking itself, you know? <laughs> so, so clever.